guys and welcome to German Village, our next episode of The Lady Studios and thank you guys so much for all your amazing support at our Chinatown video. I called it Chinatown but it's in yet more of a street obviously but I just like to call it Chinatown and this is German Village where we are gonna use the Bavarian building theme and may i just say thank you guys also so much about your overwhelmingly positive uh reactions about this new pack i know some of the people are really disappointed with the amount of pieces and i totally get that but you have to keep in mind like this is the first pack we got new shops so we got 10 different brands which also takes just a lot of space out of all the total items like normally we would get like so many different items in a pack but now since we got like 10 different shops i can imagine that all the work goes into those shops and all the signs and that kind of stuff so that leaves less uh, space for all the other items so i i i, I get it both ways like but I'm just really, really happy with all the building themes so far. Like I'm really trying to use these videos to see what we can do with it and obviously just test it, how you can use this different, these different types of themes. And I'm just really enjoying it. Like I really love the pack, even though it's a little bit smaller. I, I totally get that, but I'm really, really excited about all these new building themes we got right now and for the Bavarian theme I obviously try to google some images and use that for inspiration like it wasn't that I really knew for sure how to create these kind of buildings and something I really noticed were those like uh, uh pointing roofs so I use that quite a lot like for every building because I did see that a lot in the pictures I found on google and also I did see a lot of different colors variations but I didn't really feel to play with that that much so I did use a little bit of variation but not that much so hopefully you guys will still like it and all the German people tell me if this looks like a Bavarian style or not because I'm just really curious about your opinion obviously and also the people from China uh, that have seen my Chinese street if it's like if it looks like that I think I also have a comment about that so I'm gonna read your comments as we always did in the previous Planet Coaster episodes uh, so let's just jump into it and then we see what kind of comments we have so first of all Rudy Ren Camel my German camel friend <laughs> he commented on the Chinese street uh, Chinatown video hey guys I want worst worst now not next video give me worst so Mr. Camel you now get your worst <laughs> It's so funny. I just really love this new um, this new shop like like Wurst. We also like Wurst in the Netherlands. It's I, but I do believe it's a German typical thing. And it's really funny that we can now place it in our parks and I just really love the Professor Wurst. If I'm right, I was watching the live stream yesterday with Bo Marid and one of the devs and they told us that Sam Daddy made up that name so Sam Daddy big prop for you I really like that name it's really funny and uh, yeah as I just said like the theme itself is just really amazing I still really want to try to see what you can achieve with recoloring everything but I try to keep it as simple as possible with the colors we have and as I said a little bit of variation and uh, but I'm pretty sure that you can use this uh, building theme for a lot of other styles too. So it's not really you have to use this specifically for a German area. If I'm right, like Switzerland, isn't that also a little bit like this theme? Correct me if I'm wrong. It's, it's something that just pops up in my head, but I feel like Switzerland maybe could also be used with this theme. So I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, obviously. And um, Hermie M says, Woo, here we go with more Planet Coaster. Really love your time lapse builds. The Finnish Chinese theme street looks amazing. Can't wait to see all the other theme building streets. Well, thank you so much, Hermie M. And I really do hope you like this. I'm even thinking, I, I didn't start building yet, but I'm thinking to maybe start somewhere a Venetian street with the Italian buildings. Uh, but that's gonna take probably maybe two or three episodes if we're gonna do that like with the 
uh, gondolas in the water and uh, just like those little water sections and little bridges. I think that would be really fun to do. Let me know if you guys would like to see that and uh, yeah, we're just gonna try and use as many themes as possible I guess for the for the lady studios and maybe I will even just decide like okay this is enough uh, for the lady studios maybe I will start building in the lady in wonderland with the arabian theme or that kind of stuff because I do really feel that the arabian theme fits the lady studio so we have to think about that uh, so yeah <laughs> uh, coaster king 17 says Oh my god, you're finally back! I'm so excited to see another Planko video from you! Thank you, Coaster King 17 And uh, talking about that, like we're gonna be uploading more uh, regularly Planet Coaster again, which I'm super excited about. So make sure you have your notifications on. I do have the feeling that YouTube is messing with that a lot of times. So please make sure that your notifications are on for like all the videos. So you also have an option for like once in a while in a while that doesn't really make any sense to me like if I'm subscribed to someone I want to see all their videos and if I don't want to see a specific video I just don't click it you know what I mean so but make sure there are two options for all notifications or uh, once in a while uh, so make sure to check that and uh, Kane says your Chinatown looks very stereotypical, which in the context of being in a theme park is a good thing. Favorite thing from the World's Fair? The new doors. They are just so small compared to the old ones. Oh, you're so right about that. I didn't even think of that. But they do have a different shape. I really hope that in the future, or maybe we can just, uh, some people can create them with the Theme Makers Toolkit. Uh, so that will be awesome too, so we can have like more variations to that and I'm not really sure Maybe someone have tested it like the old door frames we had uh, Do these doors fit in there? I have honestly no idea if they do it would make sense if they made it in that size But also since this is like a complete new pack, maybe the sizes are different I honestly have no idea if if someone have tested that please do let me know in the comment section Um, so yeah, but I totally agree the doors are amazing uh, <laughs> oh, This one was really a funny one uh, Biff jerky said Chinatown places a sushi store uh, Okay <laughs> I was like not even thinking like for some reason I just really thought oh yeah okay China plays a sushi store and I totally didn't think of that is Japanese and we should place the noodles there <laughs> so it was really hilarious when I read it uh, so I'm so sorry guys that was my mistake my bad I do know that sushi belongs to Japan so <laughs> I really need to fix that and replace the store for her noodles one <laughs> I'm so sorry but it was really funny it's something really ladylike so yeah <laughs> only one person could make that mistake and that's the lady right <laughs> But thank you for mentioning that beef, beef jerky. I really need to get back to that. Um, MK Creators Animation Studios said, Finally back, make a Kung Fu Panda ride or not? I am, to be really honest, I have never seen that movie. So I really need to see that movie first in order to see if I want to make a dark ride out of that. So maybe I will. I, I'm not really sure if I do have time in the near future to watch that f movie. But if I do, and if I like it, who knows? Maybe I will make a Kung Fu Panda ride. But sorry for anyone to disappoint because I do. Ha I did have like three comments about that. So I'm sorry. I'm not really sure if I will. <laughs> Uh, Mark van Essen said, kinda sad they didn't add a Holland pack, but love it. <laughs> I really wish they added a Dutch theme. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, um, I tweeted th that out to Beaumart as well. Like, what went wrong? What did you do? Why don't we have a Dutch theme in this pack? Like, seriously, we have so many great architecture and, and special foods, so... Why not? And she said she really tried like, hey, what's going on? This is not what we agreed to, you know, we need a Dutch theme. But yeah, you know, it's always for the devs. Like they have to choose from so many countries and there are so many 
different uh, things they could add and I, I can imagine they have to just make choices what country will be in this pack and what not so <sighs> yeah I'm disappointed but I get it I get it <laughs> um DrewTube 316 said I think you're doing an excellent job with this set theme giving me ideas I've been asking for the Asian theme for a while I can't wait to start building with this set Ah, uh, it's it's really a nice set. Like I said, I wasn't really, I I really had no idea how to use this uh, set piece because I just really am not really into the Japanese and Chinese style building. So I'm not called Silver Red, <laughs> but it's really a lot of fun to to try with it. So please do make sure to. Uh, answer my discord server if you're not and share what you created with that like we are always sharing our creations at the discord server so please do join our discord server if you want to share your stuff with this new pack i'm really looking forward to see it uh red mist said looks really cool the lady my favorite theme in this dlc are both the mexican and british ones although the american diner is also really cool but a little limited to just a, a diner or a restaurant honestly my least favorites are the chinese and japanese one which are the biggest in terms of pieces in this pack i really hope you'll use the british candy store theme too oh my god yes the british candy store theme i really would love to use that like also that store itself and the vending machine are really really gorgeous but i really want to know red mist why is your least favorite theme the chinese and japanese one i uh, i miss why you don't like it so please do tell us in the comment section why don't you really like that theme and i do get it what you mean with the uh, American theme it's it's indeed a little bit limited like I can only see a um, drive-in restaurant with that set I don't really see at this point what else you can do with it but maybe some people are really creative and as I just said just join my discord server and share it over there like I'm really curious what you guys come up with that it's not that is not a drive-in restaurant <laughs> Um, Hydra Gaming says, I wish that you would build a Chinatown in Wonderland. I know this that it is technically the same park, but you get what I mean. I do get what you mean. Like, maybe in a later stage, we can go to the Lady in Wonderland and we could go a little bit more like Silverette posted, like more of a really creative styled area with the a uh, Chinese pack that will be really interesting but for now we're gonna focus a little bit more on all the different themes and just more in a smaller way but who knows later on we could definitely go to the Lady Wonderland and start building a very interesting and not really a street view uh, <laughs> Chinese area if you get what I mean uh, Trask in the Earth said I can never build you as you you're so great well thank you so much Traskin I'm not really doing that really difficult stuff at this point like if if you see what I'm doing I'm not even using different types of buildings like everything is just on the same grid I'm really trying to keep it as basic as possible I guess just to see what kind of looks you can get with not yeah I don't know it, it, it I don't know <laughs> I'm not, it's not even that difficult, I think. I think everyone can do the stuff I'm doing right now. I'm not doing super heavily detailed or super heavily overlapping stuff, especially not with this video. Maybe a little bit more on the Japanese one, but I think I, I think everyone can do that. Just keep trying. Keep trying, Trask in the Earth. You can do it. <laughs> Marcus Chang said, um, as somebody from Hong Kong, this does look pretty authentic. Can't wait for your other bills. Well, thank you. That's what I meant just when we started this video. Someone from Hong Kong. So you could tell me a little bit more if I'm going the, to the right direction, right? So thank you so much for telling me, Marcus Chang. I really, really appreciate that. And as I, as I also said in the beginning of this video, if you are German, please do let me know if this 
fits a little bit of the Bavarian theme. I'm really curious to hear from you guys. I know that it, there were a lot of German people commenting in the first video like, oh my god, I'm so happy they added Germany. Like, I, I can't relate to that feeling, you know, because I didn't add the Dutch theme, but uh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, I'm really happy for you guys. <laughs> um, Larissa Yudoka said, I wasn't expecting to see a great build here since I know you aren't too much into this type of architecture, but I have have to say great work Delaney it looks amazing well thank you so much Larissa I even didn't think I could achieve this <laughs> like you can't really see it in speed build videos but especially when I started with the Chinese team it took me so much time to find all the pieces and like trying to fit everything like how does this work looking at pictures again how do I do this roof how do I do this and especially like the top of it it's just no it was really amazing but I'm really happy like how it uh, came out in the end like it's not if I would do it all over again right now it would be definitely already way better I think but for a first time I think I can be proud of it yeah <laughs> but thank you so much Larissa uh TP Bauer said yes finally planet coaster and immediately a fantastic build it looks great and it's a really good idea by the way you forgot the Moroccan theme in the overview I would really like you to make a dense Moroccan street oh and my favorite objects are I think the new building pieces and the shops and of course the doors are amazing and a great decision I hope we're getting some more planet coaster from your channel but why no Dutch building set <laughs> well we talked about a Dutch building set so I don't have to reply to that but yes you are so right I totally forgot the Moroccan theme in my overview review video I felt so terrible but it's just not even doable to re-upload your video and that kind of stuff so I was like you know what I'm just gonna do this and I posted some screenshots at my Twitter and hopefully everyone that missed it did see that in my comments a lot of times underneath the video like oh my god yes I'm so sorry I forgot the Morocco theme but here you have a link to my screenshots <laughs> But um, I really, really would love to use um, uh, that kind of theme in this park. Like, I really feel more of a Moroccan theme for the Lady in Wonderland, though. I don't really feel that this will fit in the Lady Studios. So those kind of themes, like the more tropical ones, Moroccan, Mexican, and those kind of stuff, I don't think I will add them to the Lady Studios. Uh, but I, I really think, like we did with... Uh, Dragon Valley, uh, we could maybe use the same kind of area, the, the, the size of the area, to go for an Arabian theme. That would be really nice. So yeah, I will definitely look into that for the Lady in Wonderland once we have finished this area of different countries at the Lady Studios, of course. Um, let's see. After theming said, I love the Chinese area. My favorite theme of the new pack is the Chinese, Japanese or the Moroccan theme. Also, if you want to place a ride in the Chinese section, you can maybe do the Dragon Kitty Coaster. If it's the theme, I think I love the video. Well, thank you so much after theming. You're so right. Like the Dragon Coaster would definitely fit in this area, but uh, there's just no space for a coaster. I'm not really sure, like since we are doing really like the countries area, I'm, I don't really think that there will be placed any ride in this section. Like you, you would see a main street, there won't be any ride so I don't really feel like we're gonna place a ride somewhere maybe I will change my mind later on but there's just not that much space and I really want to have this more of the feeling like Epcot where you just have like different types of areas representing different countries so I think we just keep it with like some shops and that kind of stuff just to see what we can achieve with the building sets for now but obviously we will get more um more rides in the future in the lady studios and the lady in wonderland too so it's gonna be really nice and we can definitely use the themes later on too so as i just said like maybe in the lady in wonderland when we we're going to work more with the chinese theme we could definitely use that coaster maybe there are other coasters too that will fit in that area it's gonna be really fun i'm pretty sure but it's gonna take some time i guess um, Aelin Alf said, Hi, I'm glad that you have a new channel that you get to speak Dutch in. I may not subscribe, but I appreciate that you do speak English in this channel. I do love this channel. 
I hope that you find a good balance between your interests and can continue to do what you like best. Well, thank you so much. Those are really kind words. Um, it's really a lot of fun to talk in Dutch, but it's also really, really weird. <laughs> Uh, but you, I need to get used to that, but definitely these channels, uh, the lady gamer and the lady designer will keep, uh, will, will stay in English, of course, so you guys don't have to worry about that. And the Dutch people that want to hear me speak some Dutch can follow me on the lady and <laughs> Um, Soul Raisin says, I'm building a park based completely out of the new DLC. It's basically Port Aventura. Uh, where I'm going next week in the USA. That's really awesome, by the way. <laughs> I'm planning to have the China area lead from the main street via a dark right base of Chinatown. That sounds really amazing. As I just also mentioned to a few other people, please do join my Discord server and send, send, share some screenshots there because that sounds really excited. And obviously, I also want to hear everything about Port Aventura when you're back. Have fun in the USA. Uh, Tody Swetnam says, I can name, you can name the German area, German village. There is a town near my house called Dad. So there you go. That is the title of the video in this area. <laughs> so thanks to you, Tody Swetnam, I call this video German village and this area is called German village. So thank you so much. I really had no name when I started recording this voiceover. So <laughs> that was really useful. Thank you so much. Um, Wallaby says, never say never, if a new planet coaster or better game, game <laughs> would come, you are most likely gonna leave this version game behind, haha. <laughs> I can still enjoy RCT 1 and 2, but after Planko I can't play RCT 3 anymore. I don't know, but it's just too outdated. And I am sure that will happen to Planko one day too. You're right about that, like... Right now, I also don't really feel like playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 anymore so far. Like, obviously, when there will be a Planet Coaster 2 or something similar like this, I mean, there is a, a chance that we will move over to that game. But I mean, like, as long as we don't have any good replacement for it, we will just continue Planet Coaster, even though it does mean that sometimes there will be no videos a week or maybe just one or maybe two, really depending on how creative I feel and how much time I have, of course, too. You keep, in, keep in mind that I also still work uh, during the day. So, yeah, it's uh, it's hard <laughs> to continue and, and um, record a lot of Planet Coaster videos because every video is around two to three hours of work. And yeah, well. <laughs> you have to have the time right and the creativity too um you also added uh also love the asian pieces the most but sadly have to wait on building with them until after your giveaway just for the chance of winning don't have any friends playing planko or pretty much any other game that i like to give it to then also would feel bad to buy it now well i just really keep my fingers crossed for you i know it's a long period of time before the um, giveaway uh, competition ends but i just really want to give as many people as possible a chance like there are people that will probably just see the video somewhere this weekend before they are like oh maybe i'm gonna buy it maybe not oh there's a giveaway so they can still enter so um that's the only reason why i just made it a little bit longer so to give more people a chance to win the dlc and if not i, I, I will keep my fingers crossed for everyone but there can only be one winner and uh yeah well if not you can still decide of course to get the dlc or not if you want to uh join the competition you can find a link in my overview videos of the world fair pack and now guys it's already over we need to end it uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And please do let me know in the comment sections if you did. Please leave a like at the video and subscribe, of course, if you already haven't. My name is The Lady Designer and I really hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.